Hello, let's discuss today the synthesis of mechlorethanamide. So as we have seen, it is the representative drug from the category alkylating agents, which is nothing but the anti-tumor agent or anti-neoplastic agent. So as the name of the drug is mechlorethanamide, so as per the general structural formula that we have already discussed in SAR, so this is the general structural formula of alkylating agents, right? So if it is mechlorethanamide, so here instead of R, there must be a methanamide, that is CH3 must be there. So overall, uh, the structure of that specific drug, it will look like that N will be there, CH3 will be there, and these are the two arms, that is chloroethyl arms. So this is the structure. So now we have to synthesize mechlorethanamide. So what could be the reactants? So we will just split up this in this way, right? So the first reactant or the first fragment of the structure, it should looks like this. The structure should be having this type of reactant and this is the rest of the part. So now this is our first fragment. This is our second fragment. So that CH3N, it is coming from CH3NH2. That is nothing but methanamide. And this side arms, that is second fragment, that is this chloroethyl two side arms that we will get from two molecules of ethylene oxide. Now let's see how the synthesis of mechlorethanamide takes place. So these are the reactants, as I have told you, that once that specific structure of mechlorethanamide will get uh, defragmented it. So we are getting the first moiety that is methylamine and the other one is ethylene oxide. So specifically two molecules of ethylene oxide we need because we need two side chains, right? So now this methylamine and ethylene oxide, when they are reacting with each other, so as this nitrogen is having the lone pair of electrons, so that will attack any of the carbon. And after attacking that, that the bond will get breakdown so that it will produce the aziridinium ion as an intermediate. So whatever this ethylene oxide or the cyclic structure that will get opened, and here we are getting this one arm or this one side chain has been formed. So this will be our first carbon and this will be our second carbon. So whatever tricyclic system that will get open to get the aliphatic side chain. Now, ethylene oxide, we are using two molecules. So, one molecule will give this side chain and other molecule will give us this side chain. So, now as per the uh, structural formula for that specific drugs, now we are having this R, that is CHT we are having and this side chains we are having. But now we have to replace this hydroxy group with the chlorine moiety because this is the structure of mechlorethanamide. So now me means methyl we have added. Now we have to add chlorine moiety. So that chlorine moiety can be simply added by the reaction with the any chlorinating agent. So here we have used thionyl chloride. So simple hydroxyl group is there. So this hydroxyl group is going to be replaced by Cl. Now here our final side chain has been formed. So this is our chloroethane side chain, first chloroethane side chain, and this is the second chloroethane side chain. So in that way, we are getting the structure of me, methyl, chlor, chlorine, ethanamide. So overall, the synthesis of me, chlor, ethanamide includes the reaction of methylamine and two molecules of ethylene oxide, which will produce the intermediate that is bis 2 hydroxy ethyl methylamine, which on chlorination with thionyl chloride, we are getting our targeted moiety or the targeted drug that is mechlorethanamide. Thank you.